All right, so what happens when you need to take your 53 inch paper seamless backdrops on location? Uh, let's say you gotta do corporate headshots at their location, you gotta bring a backdrop stand, you have to bring the seamless paper backdrop, and uh, you don't want it to get dinged like in the middle of the roll, so when you unroll it, it's essentially ruined and shows a crease every you know 12 inches or something. Well, uh, that's what this video is all about. Uh, I created a little DIY transport case for my uh, headshot backdrop rolls, the 53 inch seamless paper backdrop rolls. And I just wanna show you how I did it. I didn't see any solutions out there similar. So uh, if it's beneficial to some, then that's what this video is all about. So uh, here we go. Hey everyone, this is Mike here with Mike McGee Photography. Okay, it's been ages. I think it's been like, uh, I don't know, like two years since I made a video. Uh, and if you're wondering why, it's because uh, number one, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not really into that. Uh, but I do like sharing some tips that I've done along the way, especially if I don't see any solutions out there. Um, I like to just share and give back because plenty of YouTubers have helped me over the years. Um, so, uh, well, hey, welcome back, good to see you. you can, nice. <laughs> It's been a pleasure. Uh, anyway, uh, so recently I have been doing lots of corporate shoots where um, I have to go on location to do headshots for a corporate client. And uh, that means setting up a backdrop stand. Sometimes they want a specialized color. And so I will usually, in those cases, bring a 53 inch uh, seamless backdrop roll out of paper. Um, I usually get them from Savage Universal and they have quite a few different colors. And so uh, if you need a specific color, then you're probably gonna have to bring that paper roll. So the question is always, uh, how do I bring it without it getting dinged in the middle and you unravel it and it gets ruined? So, uh, you know, I have a little thing here. So usually they ship in these cardboard boxes. Um, that's the first line of defense, so to speak. So you could just bring this, put your seamless backdrop roll, slap it in, maybe put some tape on there, but after you've done it time and time again, it looks a little bit unprofessional as this thing gets a little raggedy and it's also maybe not the best protection because it is just cardboard after all. Now, um, so that's like sort of step one. Um, now step two, if you're old enough like me, uh, ancient, uh, you may remember when Savage used to ship, um, and they may still do for certain things like vinyl, I don't know, but uh, they used to ship it in a nice mailing tube like this, nice cardboard mailing tube rubber end caps and if you have one of these lying around or you see one online let's say you could snag one of these and use this um but again i don't know if you can see it but it's got like ups stickers all over it it's not again really the most professional um and it could in theory get a ding it's it's pretty good but um just in case you can't find one of these i created this guy this little beast so um it's pretty professional looking it's just solid black there's a tiny bit of writing on there, but I'll get to that later. But um, it's just essentially a PVC pipe with a nice protective case that you could then reuse for different uh, seamless backdrops when you go on location. Um, if you only have a couple of seamless backdrops at your house and they get kind of, they're somewhat vulnerable if they're just laying around, then maybe you wanna have one or two of these just as your protective case if you have a white and a gray in your home studio or something and um, you just want them to be protected, this will also do the trick. So um, that's what this video is all about. I'm gonna show you just what I used and uh, some of the different solutions that uh, we can go for. So uh, here we go. All right, so when I was looking to find a solution for this little transport tube, I thought, oh great, as always, just go on Amazon, get some mailing tube, get some little transport tube, and uh, be done with it. Um, however, it was weird. I looked up quite a few different options on Amazon, uh, and they had expandable cases, some with a shoulder strap, some, some nice looking solutions, but the problem is this is a 53 inch seamless backdrop roll. And uh, oftentimes I think the largest or the longest transport tube that I saw available from a retail perspective was like 49 inch. Uh, 36 was kind of a sweet spot. Uh, I was scrolling through qu quite a few different options and uh, even then when they were expandable transport tubes, you would see reviews of it where in the middle, if you expand it to the full length of let's say 49 inches, it's gonna be wobbly and weak in the middle. And I was already thinking, okay, that's not gonna work. But also it's definitely not gonna work if it's a 53 inch roll and you have a 49 inch transport tube. So uh, then I thought, okay, what about poster tubes similar to the Savage Universal uh, vinyl roll tube that I have, the protective tube. 
I seriously, again, couldn't find anything online or maybe the shipping would be crazy or I found a lot of 36 inch tubes because the diameter that you're looking for here is four inches. Um, I measured and I thought that would be sort of the sweet spot. You could probably get by with a 3.75 inch um, diameter, but you really want like a four inch diameter uh, for that tube. And then obviously the length, if it's 53 inches, maybe you just want it like 53 and a half, 54 inch, uh, something like that as a transport tube. But nothing was out there. Um, and quite a few solutions were like, oh, well, you get a pack of six and they're still too short. And so I kind of gave up on that idea. So I was brainstorming. I thought there must be somebody that would have posted about this, but I didn't see anything. Maybe my Google search skills suck or something. I don't know. But um, my solution as always was go to Home Depot. So I went to Home Depot and I saw that they have essentially, you know, when in doubt, get sewage pipe, right? So I looked for the industrial pipe. They had some four inch PVC pipe and they have these built in rubber end caps that are fairly inexpensive. And I thought, let's give it a whirl. So that's what I did. So um, I'll provide links in the description in case you wanna replicate this, but it's a pretty straightforward process. But I just wanna outline some tips because Nobody did this before me and I, I went to Home Depot and I realized, oh, they only sell this, or not only, but the, the length you're going to need for this PVC pipe. Once again, the diameter is four inches, but the length that they sell it in is 10 feet. Now, uh, I don't have a Ford F-150 in the back that I can just throw it in. If you do, kudos to you, just buy it, throw it in there and get, uh, get going. But uh, since they sell it in a 10 foot length, um, one of the key options that I had to do was to bring a hacksaw, okay? Uh, now you wanna bring a hacksaw because what I did was, I don't know if you're allowed to do this, but um, I couldn't fit it in my car and I didn't want it sticking out the window and causing the, make, making like a javelin and kill somebody on the road or something or myself. So uh, all I did is I just brought a tape measure and a hacksaw to Home Depot. So once you buy the 10 foot length tube, all you need to do is just in the parking lot before park in the back, maybe on the side, just give it a quick little cut right down the middle after measuring out about 54 inches. Um, and the beauty is when you buy that 10 foot tube, um, you're gonna get two of these as uh, options. So if you, like I said, if you have a home studio with a white and a gray or a white and a black or what have you, um, and those are your key go-to 53 inch seamless backdrops. Well, the solution for this tube at the time was about 50 bucks for the tube, but you'll get two of them. So it's like $25 each protective case. Um, and then you'll wanna get, if you're making two of these, you'll wanna get four of these rubber end caps. So, um, these rubber end caps run about five bucks at Home Depot. And it, once again, that tube is about 50 bucks. So, you know, you're looking at a solution is going to be like 70 bucks or something total for two. Um, and then uh, you'll have some nice transport options and a nice protective case that is not getting dinged whatsoever. So um, one of the things I want to keep in mind too is that this is PVC pipe. So if you live in, let's say Chandler, Arizona, where I think Savage is based and you leave this in the hot sun, don't know if it's going to melt. I don't know. I live in the Bay Area where uh, the summers are quite cold and uh, get some odd weather out here, but we're never going to hit like over a hundred with regularity at least not for a few more years. Uh, anyway, so this is my solution. Um, it ends up looking like this. And so another tip that I did is um, these end caps come with sort of a metallic little ring around them and you can secure them with a screwdriver. So what I did was rather than have some writing on the side or writing this side up or something, I just used this metallic end right here, tighten that up and that one's fixed and it's not going anywhere. So then what I ended up doing is this rubber cap is really nice because it just kind of easily pops off like this, but it's secure enough to where it's not going to come off on its own in your car or something like that. It even has little ridges in there. You just kind of pop it on there and then you can just unroll your, your roll. I have white in here uh, for my 53 inch backdrop. Just pop them on like that and you're good to go. It's also very professional looking because as I mentioned, it's just black. There is a tiny bit of writing right here. And now another little tip is I Googled, you know, how to remove the writing off of PVC pipe. And some people are like, use nail polish remover, use acetone. I was like, okay, cool. So I tested on some scrap 
because after you cut this off, you'll have a little bit of scrap left over. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it at all. Don't, don't use acetone. What happens is it sort of melts the PVC and instead of just taking off the text, it then becomes this sort of sloppy, streaky mess. It was worse than just leaving the writing. So um, if you really are OCD about this and you want to get that writing off, I would just suggest a nice little bit of uh, black gaffer's tape. You could put some gaffer's tape on there. You could DIY a shoulder strap solution, probably with um, some sort of external Velcro or something like that in the strap. I don't really care because I usually throw it in a cart anyway. But um, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. But the key is bring a hacksaw and a tape measure to Home Depot because I did take two trips because I was like, this won't fit in my car. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the solution. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not really that detailed, but I just wanted to share a little, little option for you and uh, hopefully you like this one. So uh, if you feel that it was beneficial, give it a like. I don't really care. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.